Carpe Seuss. When hog hunting in Grayson County, Texas with my hunting partner Ed, who happens to be allergic to the ragweed, which we had to pass through in order to get to our hunting area, which was a cleared fence line. Got set up over a gully where we had seen hogs previously. Both of the rifles were up and ready. And we used a collar to bring in the hogs. We shot the second hog that came in. Ed's shot was through the eye. My shot with the Bay Wolf was just behind the shoulder. Looking at the uh, terminal ballistics of the Bay Wolf, went ahead and stripped off the outer layers. And we could see where the uh, bullet went through, making a nice permanent wound cavity. Stripped off more of the skin to get a better look at things. And noticed that there was quite a bit of damage underneath the shoulder blade on the entry side, despite the fact that the bullet didn't pass through the shoulder blade itself. Here we see the large wound channel that I've expanded slightly with my fingers to show the damage being done and the soft tissue around it. Probing the wound revealed that uh, there was a lot of liver damage underneath. All right, I'm gonna roll it over. Okay. We rolled the hog over to look at the exit wound damage. Originally, we didn't even see an exit wound as the soft tissue around the wound had sealed up and there was no blood until after we'd moved the hog around some and some blood managed to escape from the wound. The damage on the exit side was fairly similar to the damage on the entry side with the broken rib, damage to the surrounding tissues, and a lot of damage underneath the shoulder blade. I will let the video take over from here. Dude. Ah, bug in the face. Hey. Oh my gosh. You talk about jello. That is nuts. There's a shoulder blade here. Well, now I'm just getting shield. Hold on. So here's the hole, and I can get three fingers into that as well. Can you see my fingers? Yep. That's nuts. Okay. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Where's, where's the hole? There's, I mean, that's... Yeah. Where are we? Where are we? Where'd it go? Ah. Okay, so... Here's the actual hole itself. Dang. I forgot that. Yeah, that's breaking ribs. Mm, there's a good good picture right there. Okay. Ed's unique headshot resulted in a double eye removal and also broke out several of the bones in and around the eye area. Probing of the wound revealed that the eyes were indeed gone, that there was damage to the sinus cavities and to the uh, front of the cranium as well. There's a trail. Carpe sus, my friends.